Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Thursday. It means we're using uh, Pendulum Chaos Dragons, and it is part two of the Return of D Log. So, you know, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, you should go watch it because you need to. It's very important that everybody watch parts of the D Log. You, you, you guys come here, you get the D, the D Log. You need it. It's good for you. Ooh. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Um, 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 I'll take the trade. But all them dre all that, all that, that was a terrible, terrible, terrible middle line. Ugh. Ugh. Like, ugh. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. Ouch. That hurt. Didn't see that coming. That just that just blatantly hurt. He fucking just scratched the shit out of me. Damn. Anyway, part two. I'm gonna be talking. Yeah. Go ahead and play you. Curse will send you. Yes, I'll send another. La 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 la. I'll send you. You will get your effect. Go ahead and give me this. Do I have any darks? Oh yeah, I do. I do. I rarely summon this guy. I mean, I rarely do. Ah, yes. Okay, he's got three backgrounds, so he might have something for me, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I want to start talking, but I'm actually multitasking right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, uh, my laptop. Da damn it! Videoception. I was waiting for my laptop to finish uh, uploading this video for the next episode of Super Smash Bros. Daily. And now, since that is done, I you guys can have all my attention. Hold on, let me just get this up. I'm trying to multitask and get everything up because I want to go to bed. It's actually kind of late. I was so busy recording. Uh, this card declares attack on blah 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 blah. Okay. I was uh so busy recording uh Dragon Ball Z League videos all damn day that I <laughs> never got an opportunity to record my videos and I I won't have time more. I will not be you know Thursday because I literally got I literally got to wake up at, at, at early in the morning, super duper early in the morning to go and donate, like I usually do every Tuesday and Thursday, then I come home and generally go straight to school. I may, I might get like maybe like a half an hour in between, but generally just straight to school with my ass, so. And that's inconvenient. But damn, you got enough background for the rest of the class? You know what? Fuck you too. I'll just summon another one. Just keep on getting me with that. Yeah, you got four back row. Like you gotta have something. Something back then. I'd do something. Compulse. Sure. I don't mind that. I don't mind you, Negan. Negan. Negan with your leggings. Uh, who the fuck wants to be summoned? Oh, you. By getting rid of who? You? Who do I send from my hand to the graveyard? You're supposed to summon this card from the graveyard by sending one dark and one from your hand to the graveyard. Oh. Oh. Duh. And you, and you. Got something more? No? Okay. Hell yeah. Go ahead and get me, uh, uh, Chronomancy. Duh. Alright, let me just set my laptop somewhere out of the way. 
get up. Move, laptop. Go ahead and upload the video for me. So, uh, uh, I'm supposed to be telling you guys about part two, duh. But I'm not, because... I'm flustered right now. I'm, I'm, I'm like trying to do like 20 things at once, so. This is, this car is something that's in there. I can talk about it. Eh, yeah, I'll do that next turn. Meh. I'm not really in a hurry right now. I'm okay. Anyway, let me start talking. Alright, so. Uh, let me go ahead and just quickly give you, uh, kind of like a summary of, of what happened today being Wednesday, because, you know, yeah. And then that can lead up into, uh, part two. So, Mondays and Wednesdays, I have my, uh, education class, and I also have, uh, that's fine. My education class, and I have uh, women's literature. So, for uh, oh, someone you map, you don't use Dark Hole though, but seriously, still. Uh, so, as you guys know from part one, that I was planning on sitting next to what I call her, Amish girl, and you know, sitting next to her in class. Well, she showed up super late, like. I got to class. I wanted to get to class early so I can, you know, get my seat next to her uh, before someone else took it or, you know, or along those lines or maybe talk to her before class starts. Uh, pretty much, she showed up, like, maybe like a minute before class started and literally all the seats next to each other taken. Like, people in that class are still getting used to each other so every person, sit, people sit in every other seat. There is really no, like, oh, yeah, this is the definite, you know, Oh, we'll sit next to each other. Oh, wow. He's going to, uh, pendulum summon these two? Yeah, he's just gonna pendulum summon them. those two. And they're gonna have booty. No, he's just gonna summon one. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess, no, you couldn't summon him. My bad, you couldn't summon him. Like, yeah, I know what you're planning. Ugh. Hey, Bandit, you're not that useful. <laughs> right now, anyway. I'm kind of sitting. I'm sitting pretty well, so that's not much I want to do right now. Not really. Mm. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Shit. I don't even know why the fuck is like that. I don't even know why there's so... Uh, what, what the fuck was I smoking when I made this deck? I was smoking some good shit, cause God, what the fuck's wrong with this deck? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the you. <laughs> so if I kill his monsters next turn, he can just play this. No, he's just gonna quit. Okay, well we'll get another one. Bear back. But right, so, yeah, she pretty much showed up. Like super duper duper late for class, like, and there was no seats, so she did not take. I did not get an opportunity to sit next to her in class. I know. Oh, damn. All right. So my opponent setting lots and lots of back row. So where are we going again? It's probably something top tier, right? Another one of you? Like, can I get the other magician, please? So just summon Crave and it. You wanna get him with something? I really don't care. You got three back row. You probably got something. You got some kind of plays. You got some kind of back row, so. Yeah, maybe it's just MST. Maybe you're just waiting for MST something. Ow. Oh, God, no. Not this deck again. I am not doing against this deck again. Nah, I can't do it against this deck. This deck will... I'll try, I'll try, but... Running Abyss is literally just... It's too floaty. It's too floaty for me. I'm 
Like, I, I kind of, in my back of my mind, I'm like, it's probably burning a bit since everybody in the mother wants to play that deck right now, but it's too filthy for me. So if I kill this guy, he's going to get to her guy. So that'll be fun to deal with. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, like, thanks. Where, where are all my fucking monsters? Like, what, was, what the fuck was that? Thank you, Curry Bandit. Thank you. Thank you. I knew it was MST. I knew it. Like, thank you. Thank you, Curry Bandit. You know what I'm saying? None of my Dragon Rules, just a couple of spells and traps that I run this deck. Send them all. Send them all. Nope. Get the fuck out of here, spells and traps. Don't need them. Fuck them. Like, thanks. I mean, I was hoping to, of course, mill, you know, one, but not all of them. Like, God, what the fuck was that? Yeah, I, I, I'm again done doing bear back. I open up like, shh. I want to quit, but then I don't. But then I do. Well, there goes all three of my world of fucking creeds. All three of them. Leviathan. Okay. Why no Dante? A surprise, surprise. Burning Abyss. Not really. Anybody in the mother wants to play this deck right now? It'll probably show up on Daily Duels at the rate that it's going right now. In my face, search for tour guide. And these are probably like fucking Phoenix Wing Wing Blasts and everything, so... I'll prepare my anuses for that, too. Okay. Double Dragon Rule. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? What? <sighs> That's all I have to say right now is just... <sighs> yes, I'll special summon. You too. What in the fuck? Like, this deck is not cooperating with me right now. <sighs> of course you have warning. All right, well, thanks for that. Ah, there's not much I can do right now. I can just lose with dignity. I can probably give myself one more turn. What the fuck? Alright. 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 What the fuck is going on? Where- Jirok Driver, where the fuck did- So now I gotta deal with Logia and Doka too? What the fuck is going on? He just top decked into that, maybe. I don't know. Cause he- he set a card. But seriously, like... Like, damn! Like, just fuck me, huh? Just fuck me. Yeah, seriously, just, just fuck me. Yeah, I most definitely lost. Damn, all right, thanks. All right. Who's on first? Me. Okay, I guess. Isn't really a hand I want to go first with. And I guess I can... Or you can just... Well, okay, what the fuck is going on? Right back. Alright, so... Let's get another duel in. Hopefully, this one goes okay. Who's going first? Me or you? You, okay. Wow, I dropped both the blue eyes. Okay, thank you. Alright. I'm just trading fodder and I still draw them. This hand is ass. I can't do anything with this. Like, even if I could pendulum summon, I can't summon these guys. Like, this deck needs an update. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna tweak it. I'm gonna put it back. I have another deck to build that is running Soul Charge just because I wanted to see how powerful the deck would be with Soul Charge. I can only do that one. Fuck that card though. Sword God, like, open up like shit. 
<laughs> my best play early right now is to pendulum summon back my odd eyes. Like that that's my best play that I fucking got. That's fucking ridiculous. That's the, that, that's a shame. It's a sad day. Oh, gatekeepers! Woo! This is gonna be a fun duel. Fucking gatekeepers. So that's probably like Recruiter or another spy. Nope, there's Recruiter. It's been a cool minute since I duelled against gatekeepers. So, I don't get to sit next to her in class. So, class goes usual and kind of watch movies and talk about being teachers blah 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 boring shit class ends and pretty much every student has to do like this whole uh 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 case studies presentation every so wow dark fucking bride dark fucking bride i got dark fucking bribed all right all right Sounds about right. In this day and age, people still play Dark Bride. That's... Sure. <laughs> Spend on some of you. And depending on some of you. Did not think I'd be getting Dark Bride. Bottomless. Okay. He has something up his sleeve. I just don't know what the fuck he has. I guess I'll just summon Blood Like Dragon. I can't do anything with it. You can go ahead and kill her. Damn, that is some serious damage. You can go ahead and kill him. Yep. Is gonna go ahead and touch himself a little bit. Yeah. And this is probably like a spy. No, it's that discipline bitch. Okay, pretty much the same thing. Okay, great. And someone's visionary. Alright, so I gotta deal with that. So, he would be, what, 26? 28? He's going to be 28 because he's going to fucking send command it. Plus the fucking... Damn! Damn, damn, damn! Damn, I, I, I just can't win today. I can't. Like, I, there's no way in fuck I'm going to be able to get over that. Like, no. No. I, I can't. I can't eat him. I can't eat him. He's going to be fucking 33. I can't. I have nothing for that right now. Nothing. I have to hope and pray I top deck into some kind of dragon ruler or something along those lines. And, and and able to fucking do something because right now I'm just getting fucked up like mm -mm. like that that's what I need I need to rip right into that fucking dragon ruler thank fucking you thank fucking you still got two back row but give me that fucking big ass booty give me that fucker I want that fucker in my fucking Hands now. God damn it! <sighs> Shit. Of course. Up. Oh. Yep, you got it. Yep, that's cool. I got nothing. I'm getting my ass beat by every fucking deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! history with this deck. This deck needs fixing, like... Of course. Fuck. I have no plays right now. None. If you could summon, like, none. Yep, I'm taking this deck back under the table. I tried to make something in China kind of unique. Tried to try it with the whole Mystic Ruler thing. But nope, that didn't work either, so nope. So I'm just gonna, he's just gonna fuck up my big eye and 
I will have no place. Oh, you got it. All right, so let me just let me just finish because I really haven't been talking at all. So let me just fucking talk. So after class, I go ahead and look at uh, which uh, case study I am, and when I turn around and look to see if she's still there, so because you know we usually you know talk and hang after class, she's gone. She's completely gone. She disappeared. She didn't wait for me at all. She just walked off. Okay. So I'm like, okay, well maybe she headed over to her class. Maybe I'll go meet her at her class and we can sit down and talk. Maybe she's just busy. So I walk over to her class. She's not there. It's like, fine. So I wait like maybe like two or three minutes. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to go. So I end up leaving and uh, I was like, well, class isn't for like a half an hour. So I'll just go over to uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh table. So heading over to the Yu-Gi-Oh table, I actually run into another Yugi tuber and you're all like what you ran into another Yugi tuber who, who could you possibly run into he's actually in the next great Yugi tuber competition you guys give up I actually ran into Simo yeah Simo yeah I ran into Simo and we chilled and we talked it was cool he's a really cool guy and uh, you know I got he's doing with his uh, Satella deck and I got to see some of that and uh, he chilled for about a talk about half an hour before I had to head to uh, uh, Women's stu women's literature, women's literature, and I haven't talked about women's literature yet. So let me talk about women's literature. All right, women's literature is kind of like exactly what you think it is, but then it's not. Women's literature is it's actually taught by a man, a male teacher, and he also teaches male literature. But I'm in female literature. It's just the way that my classes was set up and how my schedule is. Uh, the no the ratio is ridiculous. Like there's like four guys and like 19 girls in that class, so totally outnumbered, of course. Uh, I'm pretty much walking in the class, and he's just like he, he's like pretty much like one of the most laid back yet profounding teachers that I've ever had. Professors like he really doesn't give a shit about shit, but then he'll make you joke. He's actually a mythology major, so he's always trying to get like he's like what's real and what's not real, and and he's just like what is what is myth, and he it was just like that guy just like when you get up in that class, like okay. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, uh, that class, he was like, I didn't put a book for you to get because it's cheaper to get online than to get in the, in the, the store, in the school store. So I'm like, okay. So I, when I get home, I actually, you know, go out search online for the book and I go on Amazon search for books. Guess how much that book was? That book, my, my, my purchase, my book, one penny. With three ninety nine shipping, <laughs> like I shit you not, <laughs> like well, like why is this book so cheap? So I I end up picking it up, came in the mail from uh, Amazon. But you guys didn't care. You don't care. You guys don't care about my class. You don't want to hear about that. You guys want to hear about the girls because you guys know you guys come here for the girls, right? All right. So yes, uh, I don't like putting my eggs all of my eggs in one basket. I I hate doing that. Yeah, it, it it hurts more when you do that. When when you put all your time and effort into one girl and you know. It doesn't work out, or she rejects you, then then where do you go? You know, you put all your eggs in one basket. I don't like doing that. So sure, I was going, I was you know trying to talk and flirt with uh, uh oh, fuck, I forgot what the people are called again. Uh oh my god, I forgot, I forgot what they're called. I forgot what they're called. I already forgot what they're called. Whatever, the, the girl in the, in the freaking education class. You know who I'm talking about. I forgot, I forgot what well, nicknamed her. Uh fuck what are they called the people you, you know what I mean but sure I was talking to her but there's other girls that's planning to talk to so there's another girl that I'm planning on talking to in my uh, women's studies class but I just really haven't found an opportunity aka Daniel's a little bitch and he's afraid to talk to a girl so yeah you know it takes me a little while I'm not the most confident person in the world it takes a little while for me to build up some courage to talk to a damn girl but plan on uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, as in today. So, yeah, Thursday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to her. Yeah, I'm gonna find a way. There's this other girl in the same, the same class, but she's so cute. She, she, she seems like way out of my league, so I'm not even gonna try. But for my women's literature class, there's this girl that I've been wanting to talk to, and uh, she seems kind of shy. And I, I've always been like, just I really I like, I just, just want to go and talk to her. And the problem with that class is that that class is awkwardly silent at the beginning of class. Like, we get into class, everybody sits down, dead silence. Teacher just, pitch, 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 just sitting there, staring at all of us. 
dead silence until class starts. Like, if he doesn't say anything in class, no one will say anything in class. Like, he has to start the class because it's just dead silence. You know, you have some of those classes where, you know, you, you, you and your friends sit down, everybody's talking and chatting, and the class is all loud, and then the teacher's like, oh, quiet down, quiet down. No, total opposite. Like, he has to get us to talk because we won't say shit in that class. Anyway, with that class being dead quiet and, you know, it would be super awkward if I like, go up to her and I start, you know, spinning some game trying to flirt with her when everybody can hear me. So, that's why was, it would be like, super awkward, right? So, I was like, damn, well, I can't talk to her beginning class and I, and, and I, said, I was planning on getting the class early and getting the seat next to her, but fucking Simo, running into Simo and talking to Simo, I got so distracted, I literally walked into class a minute late, which he didn't care, but yeah, by the time I walked into class, all the seats next to her were taken, so fuck that. <laughs> anyway, I, I finally grew some balls, you will actually have some goddamn balls, and I decided to go ahead and talk to her after class. So I can go up there and say, you know, excuse me, introduce myself. I said like three sentences to this girl and she's like, oh, you're nice. Like, sure. I, I, I said three sentences to you. Like how, three sentences. How does that make me a nice guy? So uh, she was actually going to the computer lab. So uh, I was like, okay, I'll just walk you to the computer lab. So we just start talking. Uh, surprisingly, she actually took interest in me. And what I mean, she, she remembered, I actually, on the first day of class, which is almost about two weeks ago, I stated that I liked anime. And she actually brought up, she's like, oh, I remember you saying that you liked anime. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, kind of into anime. And then she's like, oh, well, what anime do you watch? So I, I was like, tell me, but I was like, but I've been super busy with YouTubing because I'm a YouTuber. And she's like, oh my god, you're a YouTuber? That's so cool. So, I, you know, I started going into detail about, you know, how I'm a YouTuber and such, and I, you know, I do Let's Play and stuff. I didn't say I play Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, that's not something that you you generally tell her. I'm not ashamed that I play Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's not something that's not a really good icebreaker. Oh, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. But no, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I play Let's Plays and stuff. And I just do things on YouTube. It's pretty chill. You know? And um, she's into movies. And <laughs> I, I haven't watched a movie in forever. She, you know, she likes watching movies on Netflix, on Redbox, etc., etc. So uh, I know where to take her on a date. <laughs> so uh, you now she's like, well, she had to go and work in a computer lab. You had to be really quiet in a computer lab. So I was like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and see you Monday. She's like, yeah, I'll save you a seat and sit next to me on Monday. So hopefully, you know, she seems, she seems more interested in me than any other girl that I met. And she said I was a nice guy, yet she barely met me. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's interested. So uh, there, I put a couple eggs in that basket. But of course, there's plenty of baskets. So... You know, if that doesn't work out with her, I can go ahead and just go to the next girl. Just how I am right now. So, yeah. So, I'm still not done. So, this is going to be part three. Maybe part four. This one, I, I, I probably should have talked more, but the duels were just so distracting that I really couldn't focus on talking. But, yeah. There, tomorrow's going to be part three. So, uh, look forward to that. I'll be talking about more about women's studies and, of course, how that went if I actually talked to her. I'm going to talk to her. I am. I'm going to talk to her. Now, since I talked to this girl, I, I, it's just talking to another girl. It's so simple. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Huh? That class is also awkwardly quiet at the beginning, too. So, you know, but it's, it, pe people, once again, they don't know each other. So they sit, you know, every other seat. So, you know, there's going to be a person to the, to the left of her. She's going to be on the right. They're going to be seat in the middle. I'm, the seats are probably going to be taken, and I'm probably just going to sit right next to her in the middle because there's not an, a lot of other seats, just as an excuse, and I can just start a conversation with her and get to know her, you know? So, if you're wondering about this girl, the girl who, I guess we can call her Movie Girl, sure, we'll call her Movie Girl. <laughs> Amish? Amish! It's Amish! <laughs> I finally remember! Amish! Uh, yeah, so, not sure what's going on, but like I said, she's disappeared, you know? She didn't say bye to me, she was just gone so it's not the first time that a girl has kind of just kind of completely avoided me so you know i would rather a girl say not interested leave me alone and, and then completely avoid me and try to ignore my existence i think that's kind of rude but how can i say moral of the story bitches be crazy yep so yep so hopefully uh maybe i can get to know movie girl a little bit better so yeah so, I apologize for this. I, I'm going to be fixing the deck. Like I said, I made a version of the deck with Soul Charge, and I was thinking about trying it out because Soul Charge broke, and 
you know, I kind of feel like this deck run, can run Soul Charge, and eventually this deck will get the deck profile, but, you know, so, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll just break my rule. Like I said, I'm playing, so I, you know, I think Soul Charge is going to get banned, so fuck it. I don't know, I'll work on this deck, but it's clearly not working right now. Now, I wanted to try the Mystic Rulers, they weren't working, I was trying to trade in with the Blue Eyes, and that clearly wasn't working, drew both of them, like, okay, well, I really can't do much with this fucker. So, yeah. So, um, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using, uh, Quacky Miru, and I will, it will be part three. Yeah, maybe part four, maybe there will be a part four, I doubt it, though. It depends on how distracted I get in the duels, but I doubt it. So, yeah, uh. And then the last class, Calculus, there's not much to talk about. There's no girls that I'm playing with in that class, so, no, nah, won't take me long. Alright, so, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow.